Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw some of Batman's weapons, the Batarang and the Grapnel Gun. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw the Batarang first, and to begin we're going to start out right in the middle. We're going to draw in those bat ears first. So we're going to draw one little line across. And just make sure you leave enough space because this thing goes pretty wide. All right, and then from here, we're going to go up, just land it up, and then we'll come back down past this point. Okay, and then once we have that, on the corner here, we're going to flare out right around here. And then we're going to hook it up. So just come back this way, so it's like a little bracket. Okay, so this is going to be the tip. And before we draw in the, uh, the blade, we're going to come down here, right in the middle. So this is going to be the bottom. And then we just draw like a little V-shape first, so that we can get the right placement. Okay, and then now we can draw in the, uh, the blade. So this is the trickiest part. So for here, we're just going to curve all the way out. Okay, so right around here. So we're going to come across, you can make a little point, but just kind of visualize this line here. So it's going to be right around here. So this is very hard to make things uh, symmetrical. So we're just going to curve it out again. And you can use pencil first if you uh, want to have it more accurate. But if not, you can just go for it with the Sharpie, that's okay too. Alright, so once we have this big curve, we're going to connect it back to this point here. So this is going to be nice and sharp here. Just kind of curve across. And just connect it and try to make it a little bit smooth. All right, and then once you have that, um, just draw the details right here. It's going to be one big circle in the middle. And now I'm drawing one more. And then on the side here, there's going to be two circles, two holes right here. All right, and then lastly, we're going to draw in another line here to make the the, uh, the sharper part of the blade. So just kind of come right in the middle. You can make a little point here first. Okay, start over here. And then just draw one smooth curve all the way through to that connect to that point. Okay, so it's like somewhere right here. All right, so that's the batarang, and now for the grapnel gun. This is this thing's pretty cool too. So we're gonna begin with the middle section first. So we're just gonna draw in one long rectangle. All right, and then once we have that, we're gonna draw another rectangle. Pretty much the same size, but a little bit shorter. So I'm going to start here. Let's come down. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter than the original one. All right, and then now right here, we're going to draw in one circle on the bottom. And let's just go ahead and add in some details. Okay, and then before we add in the details in here, let's rough out the, uh, the back part of the gun first so that we know where we are. So right here, this, this part's going to be the trigger. So right in the corner, just slant down. Come down again, and then we're going to go back up with the same slant as this. Alright, and then we'll add in one line here. So whatever angle you have, just come in and draw a smaller one. And then here's the trigger right here, just one little curve. 
Okay, and then now let's draw in the uh, the handle. So we're gonna come down on this part first. Just one little curve, and then we're gonna hook it back. So just one little bump, and then we'll just come down same angle as this, just a little bit right here. Okay, and then now we're gonna draw in the back side of the uh, the handle. So right in the middle of this point here, I'm gonna slant it out. Curve, this part's a little bit tricky, so come out. And then we'll just slant all the way down and we'll connect these. Okay, so that's the handle and let's see right up here. Just gonna draw one curve, just connect that. And let's just go ahead and finish up the details uh, on the handle. So right here, curve up, and then just connect to this point here, this angle. All right, so now let's draw in uh, some of the details in here. So right here, I'm just gonna draw another rectangle. Right here one little rectangle right here and then now we're gonna add in those lines right here so from this space just divide in two first and then in this space here I'll divide in three so I'm gonna add two lines so same thing here two lines so that's gonna be the grip area and for a little bit more detail here you can add another circle and then on top of each of these uh, blocks right here, there's gonna be a bunch of little rectangles. So I'm just gonna add in, we'll have a Sharpie, so I'm just gonna fill it in real quick like that. All right, and then in here, just come up, draw a rectangle, almost a square. And then inside, we'll add in two lines. All right, and then here there's gonna be three little vents. So just draw one, two, and then three. All right, so now let's draw in the claws, and this part's a little bit trickier because it's got those curves again. So we'll start right in the middle right here. Okay, just come out, and you're gonna draw one of his claws. We're seeing it from the, uh, I guess from the top, so it's gonna be very skinny. So just give this a little bit space up here and then we're gonna connect it to the corners. So nice and sharp. All right, and then from there, right here, you're gonna make two little marks and then we're gonna come into the, back into the gun. So just curve it. Okay, so now for the other claws here, for the other blade. So right here, just come up. And then on the bottom as well, just draw two little lines, kind of slanting inwards. And then whatever space you have here, start right here in the corner. Just curve and just connect that. Kind of very tricky curves. All right, and then to finish out the blade, I'm gonna start right around here. I'm gonna curve up, same thing here. This one's gonna curve down. So these two are symmetrical. Now whatever space you have here, I'm just gonna draw a smooth curve and connect those. And then lastly for the blade detail, again, I'm just gonna follow the curve. Let's go all the way around. So it's gonna right around the mid midpoint there and that is it for this explosive batarang and the uh, batman grapnel gun hope you guys like the way it turned out and if you do please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you next time